Hey guys, it's Miss Simpson, and today we are still working on the same sentence, and we have been reading the book um, Stella Luna. So we read the book yesterday, and we noticed some things about our sentence. Well, today it is time for us to label our sentence. So let's take a look at our sentence. I don't know, but it's hanging by its feet, chirped Flitter. Okay, so remember, on Wednesdays is when I do my big lesson of kind of what I expect you to learn and get and know from this week. But for today, the only thing that we are going to do is label the sentence. So if I were you, I would label it while I'm talking. So let's say um, I label something on my sentence. I would expect that you're labeling it on yours. So I would suggest everybody get out a piece of paper and write the sentence down on the piece of paper because when I go and I um, post this sentence for the week, it's going to be sideways. So it's probably going to be harder for you to do that anyway. So I would just do it as you listen to me talking to you. So again, write it down on a piece of paper and then we will label it together. I would write it with spaces in between. Okay, let's keep going. So... Let's start again at the very beginning like we normally do, and let's label. You should know by now that I is a pronoun. Our pronouns replace our name. So I could say I, me, my, um, I could say she, I could say her because I'm a girl. You could say him, you could say her, or you could say him, you could say he if you're a boy. Um, also, there's I, me, he, she, they. There's so many pronouns, but they replace names. Okay, don't remember we talked about this is a contraction. And this contraction, and I would like for you to write this somewhere on your paper, stands for two different words, do and not. Okay, no. This is a verb. You can know something. It's a verb. And now this one. But I am not going to tell you what this is. Yes, you're required to label it, but I'm trying to let you start labeling things on your own. This, you should know. It has a complete sentence on this side and a complete sentence on that side. And it has a comma fanboy. What are those fanboys called? Ooh, what part of what part of speech is it? Ooh, I'm not going to tell you. Let's hope that you remember, but it is a fanboy. So I want you to label that with what it is. I am not going to. I'll show you tomorrow, but I'm not going to today. It is also another contraction. And this one stands for it is. Um, hanging is a verb because you can show me that. You can show me um, you hanging off of something. By is a preposition, and I'm not going to write that whole out. I'm just going to put prep. By is a preposition. It is another pronoun. It's actually a possessive pronoun. And feet is a noun. Remember, a noun is a person, place, or thing. Chirped is another verb, and flitter is a proper noun. Remember, a proper noun is a name, a name of anything, of something. Okay, so let's go ahead and take another color, and I want to underline our subject, which is I, and our predicate, or our verb, you should know this one right here, don't. That's our subject and our verb. And then since we have a, uh, I can't tell you what it is. I'm, I almost gave it away. Since we have a fanboy, remember I'm not telling you what this is. You have to tell me what it is yourself. But since we have a fanboy, we have another subject and another verb. So I do expect you to have those underlined because you should know that this is our subject and our ver um, verb and our subject and our verb, because a compound sentence has two subjects and two verbs, which we learned about a couple weeks ago. 
All right, guys, so you should be completely done with labeling your sentence. All you've got to do now is take a picture of it and turn it in. Tomorrow is my big lesson, so don't miss it, but it's my big lesson telling you um, kind of what's on, not really what's on your test, but giving you a lesson preparing you for your test. So don't miss tomorrow. All right, guys, I love you all so much, and I will talk to you later.